Okay, class, welcome to week number two. So I want to start off by thanking everybody that submitted their discussion boards and their assignments for week number one. Um, I will be grading those tomorrow, so keep a lookout for that and uh, make sure you check your grade. For week number two, we're going to continue with career and academic counseling and um, these are the learning outcomes for week number two so go ahead and read those and uh, make sure that you're also taking a look at your readings for week number two so you'll be responsible for chapter 7 8 15 16 and 17 okay so again um, if you didn't see my first recording week Four will be your final, which will consist of um, lectures, questions from the readings, and um, anything that is on the course uh, shell. So you will be responsible for um, knowing that material and uh, taking the final. So please make sure you're uh, looking through the chapters and reading through those for the week. Uh, then you have your lecture for week number two. So you'll learn about resources for labor markets. That'll be part A of your lecture, and then you'll learn about political action. And so um, here are some links that I want you all to look at and um, take notes on. And this is just a lecture for week number two, okay? Then you have some learning activities and your discussion board. Again, uh, discussion boards are due on Saturday by midnight please um, the sooner that you submit your first initial response the better uh, the better for your peers to be able to respond to your um, post if they choose to do so and um, your initial response with your two responses to your peers should be uh, in by Saturday midnight okay and a discussion for week two We'll discuss, and let's look at that. It's, there's gonna be here, this. There's two discussion boards for week number two. Okay, and there's already three individuals that have submitted their first discussion board for week number two. And so here you'll be talking about the code of ethics. Okay, and you'll reflect on your past experience on your previous field work. Um, and so here you wanna look at the code of ethics and find a code that you've seen violated. Um, you don't want to be too specific. You don't want to, you know, mention any names, uh, but at least um, kind of reflect on what you felt was violated as far as the code of ethics for American counseling, for the American Counseling Association. And so the web link for that association is on the um, uh, web geography, which is um, located on the course resources. Okay. So again, so here you want to respond to two of your peers and um, kind of offer solutions to the ethical violation. Um, here it says that this is due by midnight on the second Thursday of the course. Disregard that. As I mentioned, all discussion boards are due on Saturday by midnight. Okay. And here's a breakdown of the points that you would get for, um, for posting a, a discussion board that's appropriate. To get all the points okay so we I'm sorry discussion board number two here so for discussion board number two you will look at a academic scenario and read through the scenario and respond to the scenario okay so please go ahead and read through the scenario and then respond Put your initial response and then uh, respond to two other candidates for this okay and disregard the um, be prepared to discuss this scenario during our next chat uh, disregard that okay so that would be for the discussion boards for week number two and so now the assignment for week two and this is a virtual services assignment. And so here you wanna think of yourself as playing the role of the high school counselor for a student parent academic conference. 
okay? And so the situation here is that one of your parents and one of your students, uh, the parents worried about keeping their son on track with the right courses to give them for the maximum number of college options upon graduation, okay? So here I want you to think of yourself as a counselor researching and preparing for this uh, conference. And so here you want to look at your lectures that you've read, the books that you've read, the resources, the links, uh, the textbook, and any specific web information that you've obtained to um, prepare for this conference. And so if you look at the document here, the Word document, this is the virtual services assignment. And so here you want to put your name and date, and then you want to read through the scenario, which is what we talked about. And you know, you are dealing with a parent that wants to make an appointment with you regarding their son and providing the most maximum options for, um, for college upon graduation. And so with this here, you know that the student has a 3.4 GPA in their first semester of their freshman year, okay? So what you wanna turn in for this assignment, you wanna submit this document with your answers that are corresponding to the questions that are being asked of you. And so you wanna feel free to use the internet. You could um, go on, um, on you know, the website, the lectures, I'll reference your book if you like, but uh, you need to fill out and respond to each of these questions, okay, and submit this document via your course shell online, okay? And if you have any questions with uh, finding the answers or responses to any of these questions here, feel free to email me and uh, I could direct you with a website or a link or a resource that could assist you in finding the the answers to these questions and so here what we the whole main uh, goal of this assignment is to prepare you to think as a counselor and to prepare as a counselor when you will be asked to meet with parents that um, want to meet with you for a specific reason and in this situation you're meeting with a parent that has a freshman student and the parents concern about their options after high school given the student's GPA so you do want to start thinking of yourself in that role and uh, how you would deal with uh, this conference and how you would prepare for this conference um, given that you were put in the situation as a future counselor. Okay? And so then we finish up the week with uh, week two quiz one and week two quiz two. Again, the quizzes are not graded. These quizzes are more meant to give you a glimpse as to how you're progressing with the knowledge you are learning and obtaining for this um, for this week, okay? Um, again, these quizzes are also preparing you for your final exam. So you don't have to take them if you don't want to. I won't be looking at them, uh, quite honestly, but um, it's more for you to reference and kind of gauge yourself and see how you are mastering the, the content for the week. Okay, so that is what we have due for week number two. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, I will be submitting this link after I pause this video and um, then uh, emailing this to you all. Just know that tomorrow, I wanna say around 5 p.m., you should have all your discussion boards and your reflective essay. Uh, graded. So um, make sure you look at your grade book to uh, kind of keep track of how you're progressing in this course, okay? All right. With that said, you know how to contact me, email me if there's any questions, and I wish you all a great week number two. Thank you.